Hey guys, welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am working on a DIY for the wall. This would be like a command center or like a coat rack. It could serve actually multiple purposes. I want to start with this piece of wood. It's a board that I got in the scrap wood section at the hardware store. If you watched my uh, shop with me for lumber, I showed you kind of where I go. Um, and there you could find some very, very wonderful pieces of wood, very inexpensive, and, um, and you can use them for projects just like this one. So this one is a three feet by about 21 and a half inches um, tall. And uh, I did not modify it at all because really I'm just working with what I have. Um, I give it one coat of regular household paint in the Valspar. However, I then decided I wanted to trim it. So before I added the second coat, I cut the trim to fit using my miter saw as well as the table saw. And I am using my very new, this was a Christmas present. This is a Ryobi uh, brad nailer and it, um, it has a lot, it can, it can, oh my gosh, I can't talk today. It can work with a lot smaller nails, which is perfect for smaller or thinner projects like this one. So I am just trimming it out just so that it has a more complete look. I am now adding the second coat to the board and I'm also going to make sure that I paint the outside edges so that they are nice and uh, you know even and white and they're not standing out and look unfinished. While the board is drying, if you watched, I'm not sure if you watched my thrift with me, I got these two baskets, they're like a, you can hang them on the wall um, or on a door. And I got them for $1.99 each. And I removed, it had like that moss um, inside. So I just threw that away. But I want them to have, they have like a, like a metal chicken wire kind of color to it. But I wanted them to be a little uh, more in the darker tone, like a black tone. So I'm using the Rust-Oleum chalked paint in the charcoal. It's very dark. Normally I would spray paint it. I would spray paint them, but because it's winter and it's raining today, I decided to just lightly brush some dark tone paint on them and it worked. So now I flipped over the board and I'm just going to mark using a scrap piece of wood so that every line is the same thickness. And this is just so that I know where to put my back hooks. I got these hooks on Amazon. You can find like a whole little box with a ton of them very inexpensive now I am flipping it over back to the front and I am going to start uh, to place the baskets the hooks to kind of eyeing, eyeing out where I want them to be that clip that you see on the left hand side there, I got that off of an old picture frame that I no longer needed. The picture frame I threw away, but I kept the hook, or not the hook, the clip. And these four hooks were leftover hooks from when I built some um, coffee mug holders. I still had some, so I'm using them here, so I did not have to purchase them at all. And I forgot to mention earlier that the trim was also scrap wood that we already had here at home. I made sure that I measured and I marked where I wanted the hooks because I wanted them to be as a level as possible and with the same amount of distance from each other. I am securing the baskets, they're not heavy at all, but I do want to put several screws, one on the bottom of each one and then two on the top because you can put letters on here, you can put magazines, whatever you want you can put on these baskets. So I want them to be nice and secure. And then I'm screwing in the clip. You can put here a to-do list. You can put a notepad, whatever you like. So now I'm just staging it a little bit and show you the final project. There you have it. I love this. I wish I can keep it. I don't have any place where I would put it right now. So I'm 
actually going to sell this one but I just love the size of it and how cute it turned out but I thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet I invite you to do so and I hope you have a blessed day